So Al Aqra ibn Habis and Uyayna, when they come into the room with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is they wanted to speak to him and say something to him and get something in writing from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as they were sent. So when they walk in, they say something to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he says to them that you are sitting amongst those who are weak. You are sitting amongst those who are weak. We are Arabs. We have our virtue and we need to stick together. Hence, if you want me to sit with you, Prophet of Allah, remove Suhaib from the Majlis, remove Khabbab from the Majlis, and remove Bilal from the Majlis. If the situation, hence to let the matter go and get things going, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he called Ali radiallahu anhu. He said, Oh Ali, come. Come with your script and come with a pen so we could write these things down. The Aqra has brought with him and Uyayna has brought with him. And when this occurrence happens, the Prophet ﷺ told Suhaib and he told Bilal al-Khabbab, get up and go sit in that corner. Upon that moment, when the pen was risen to write what these two people had come with, Allah Azza wa Jal descends, or sorry, Allah Azza wa Jal allows Jibreel alayhi salam to descend and he comes with a revelation. And the revelation says, وَلَا تَطْرُدِ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ وَالْعَشِي Do not move away from your gathering those people who call upon Allah and call to His word day and night. يُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَهُ These people that you've put in the corner, they only want Allah. مَا عَلَيْكَ مِنْ حِسَابِهِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ You have nothing from their account and they have nothing from your account. فَتَطْرُدَهُمْ if you remove these three people from your majlis, فَتَكُونَ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ Then you will become from amongst those who have transgressed. This is a warning from Allah. To who? To the Prophet ﷺ. That don't put them into the corner. Bring these three people back into the majlis. And don't let them be belittled. Because of the fact that they're not Arabs. Or the fact that they're weak. Or the fact that they're not wealthy. We respect them regardless. So what is it that Allah Azza wa Jal made it a point to say the fact that they work and they face and they dedicate themselves only for the sake of Allah. Hence he mentioned the purpose due to which the fact that the unification of Allah Azza wa Jal that he, he commanded them to come back together. What was it? Yuriduna wajha. That they call upon Allah, they worship Allah day and night, and they only want Allah. Hence, don't remove them from your majlis. So the unification of what? Tawheed. That we are one. Because we believe in Allah, we are one. Because we believe in the Tawheed of Allah, we are one. Because we are from the Ummah of the Prophet wasallam. We cannot make it a point to say the fact that, you know, this person is of such, this person is of such race and so forth. So how does unification occur? By making sure of the fact that we hold strongly upon the book of Allah Azza wa Jal and the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Allah says in the Quran, وَاَعْتَصِمُوا and hold tight. وَاَعْتَصِمُ means to hold tight. وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ To the rope of Allah. So a person can imagine the fact that Allah Azza wa Jal throws out a rope for the people to hold on to. What is this rope that Allah is talking about? وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ And hold on to the rope of Allah Azza wa Jal. وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And do not become divided. And do not become people that, are, that have friction amongst themselves. And the Mufassireen and the commentators of the Qur'an, they write the fact that the habl of Allah, the rope of Allah, that which Allah Azza wa Jal extends to, out to his ibad, is what? 
is the book of Allah Azza wa Jal, is the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it's Islam in general. Allah descended the book, that's a rope. Allah descended the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ And Allah Azza wa Jal gave us الْيَوْمَ أَكْمَلْتُ لَكُمْ دِينَكُمْ The deen of Allah al-Islam. So hold on to these things. وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And don't let go. وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ And remember the blessing of Allah Azza wa Jal. إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَىٰ That you were enemies before this. What does that mean? Tribes fighting with tribes. Wealthy fighting with the weak. The weak protecting themselves from the strong. The Arabs against the non-Arabs. The whites against the darks and darks against the whites. Such was the situation of the nations that were here before the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ And remember the blessing of Allah Azza wa Jal upon you. What is it? Unification. Allah united them all. He did not differ between a black person or a white person. He did not differ between an Arab or a non-Arab. He did not differ between anyone. So what did Allah give them? What united them? Hablullah. It was the habl of Allah. It was the rope of Allah. The book of Allah, the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Islam. Hold on to it. You'll become stronger. Hold on to it. Then all this tribal system will be gone. The fact that someone is a Chaudhri or the fact that someone's a Raja or the fact that somebody's something else or the fact that somebody's strong, somebody's wealthy, somebody's not. Akramakum indallahi atqakum. The most honorable in the eyes of Allah Azza wa Jal is the one who has taqwa with inside himself as a standard. So there's nothing left. Unification, the purpose is one. And that's the pleasement of Allah. The book of Allah, the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and Islam. And then Allah says at the end of the ayah, when they held on to the rope of Allah, فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ And you became بِنِعْمَتِهِ With the blessing of Allah, إِخْوَانًا One brotherhood. 